we're at the Atlantis Bistro at uh, 1140 Main Street in beautiful downtown Dunedin. Well, actually, it's a little bit uh, east of downtown Dunedin, but I can see downtown Dunedin from here. Our fans told us about their wonderful Mediterranean food, their singing waiters or waitresses, I, we'll find out which, and just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. So we're gonna go test this out. taste something. So let's go in and find out. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm Chef Leanna. Welcome nice to, to meet you. Welcome to Bistro Atlantis. How you doing today? Very good. Very good. I'd like to take you back and let you meet my partner, Don. Okay, well, let's go. We're at Bistro Atlantis and I've corralled the owners. And why don't you introduce you guys? My name is Don. My name is Leanna. And you're the... I'm the chef. You're the chef? And the, the coat kind of gives that away. <laughs> so, yeah, not everybody's going to know that. You know? And I'm, I'm just um, an owner. Yeah. Just, just an owner. No, okay. no, nobody special. You sing pretty special. I sing, yeah, I sing. Well, yeah, you do. I sing, I shake hands and... I, I, I Actually, I say I shake babies and kiss hands. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about your restaurant and your concept here. Well, um, let's see. <laughs> How, where do we start? Well, we bought the restaurant in August, and okay. and it was Bistro Atlantis when we bought it. Concept was working, so we kept things pretty much the same. Kept all the Greek recipes, and then added our own personal touches. We have fresh pasta, you know, some other Italian dishes. And um, at, ramped up the dessert menu big time because they only had two desserts. <laughs> and I have too much of a sweet tooth to only have two desserts. <laughs> so dessert here is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My mama's peanut butter pie is the best popular, I think, on the menu. It is. Ah. It's delicious. It's delicious. And we might try a little bit as we yeah. go along today, too. There you go. So how did you guys get in the restaurant business? I've been doing this all my life. I put myself through school doing it. And uh, my degree is in microbiology. Never really used yeah. it. So Ended we up. Say, uh, we say, we don't know if your food's good, but we know it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Always make that joke. Um, so microbiology, down to the microbes. Yep, absolutely. Down to the microbes, good. I like that. I like yep. that. I like your food that. is safe. It is yeah. safe. Well, no, it's good. <laughs> well, that's good. That's even better then. So you, how did you get into the restaurant business? Um, I got to know her. Okay. I have, I've actually been in marketing. Um, forever and and restaurant this is my first venture in the restaurant business so it's been an, an interesting um, lesson in in uh, a new industry marketing is pretty much marketing no matter what you do and uh, because I love um, the food and I love the atmosphere here and the people the the customers that we have are just amazing they're all very supportive and just um, they're like family to us and that part of it is makes it a labor of love for me I this is probably my favorite thing I've ever done and I've done a lot <laughs> well, let, now let me introduce you again and oh, your okay. name is my name is Dawn Brittner Heild Don Rittner Heil? It's Brittner Heil. It's Rittner -Heil. A, a long German name. Long German you know, name. We, we joke around saying we get two Germans cooking uh, Greek and Italian. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the axis of food then. It is. We always say it's not the blood in your veins, but the spirit in your heart. There you go. Ah, okay. I there like that. Go. I like that. There's a lot of spirit here in the food. You can taste it. It's a lot of love there. Yep. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate your time. And Thank we're, you. We're going to be... Uh, Sampling some things in your restaurant tonight. Wonderful, wonderful. Awesome. I do, I do Enjoy. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Well, we're gonna do a little tasting as we go through here. I just noticed these ladies over here are eating something, so I have a clean fork. Let's go ask them if we can have something. I don't think so. Forget you don't that. think so? Forget it, no. <laughs> you forget it. What, what is it that I'm not gonna get? This is a stuffed portobello mushroom. A stuffed portobello mushroom, and what's it stuffed with? Stuffed with cheese and hey, spinach hey. and shrimp. Ooh, and yeah. just, just a little bite. <laughs> oh. Waiter, waiter. Yeah, really. <laughs> Stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. Ooh. Oh boy, that is good. Well, he didn't fall over, so I guess we can try it now, right? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Boy, that is good. Really good. Oh my god. I thought that was shrimp. It is, but there's a portobello, portobello mushroom the under there. Wow. And it's stuffed with cheese. And cheese and garlic and, and maybe a little spinach in there. That's that is amazing. delicious. Is one of their regular uh, appetizer. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We should have tried that. Boy, this is good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. You might have to try a little, a little taste of this, but sure that's you, okay. Yeah, but make sure you get some of the mushrooms. Yeah, cut a little bit of that off for me, right? Which this up, right there, right there. Right there. Mm. Well, this is really good. Now, this is just a taste of Tampa Bay, because we are tasting Tampa Bay. And this, delightful. I don't think this is going to last very long. <laughs> You're putting yours on your plate. I'm eating it off the plate. That's okay. Well, I just yeah. wanted to that's make enough. sure that I got a bit yeah. of every flavor on every fork. Well, that is very good. It's like something coming out of the oven. Yes, sir. My slam shakes. I'll uh, be a little nice Ooh. aroma. Oh man, if this was smell o vision Oh, that looks great. That looks great. <laughs> Slow roast them for about two and a half hours. And uh, lots of herbs and spices in there, and carrots and celery, and some secret ingredients that I won't divulge because, you know, I can't. <laughs> but this is lamb shanks, right? Yes, roasted lamb shanks. Ooh, boy. We're going to try these a little later. I think so. You like <laughs> famous Maryland style crab cakes that I make that everyone loves so much. Yummy and full of uh, blue lump crab. This big scoop of crab meat. Like that. Mm. Season with a little bit of Old Bay, because you just gotta. And then we bake these off in the oven until they're golden brown. Now the crab cakes are ready. Nice golden brown on top. And Ooh. With these, I finish them. Um, actually, I paint the plate with um, a Key West Key West Lime Dijonese, which is a special, basically a romulade made with key lime juice and some different mustards and spices. And let me get my tongs here so I don't lose the crab cake. Sit it on there, and these are yummy. I've been told they're the best in the area. Well, it looks delicious. It looks like a judgment. crab mountain versus a crab cake. Yeah, well, I don't put a lot of filler in them. It's mostly crab and some green onions, lots of different, a couple different kinds of mustards and some spices, very little breadcrumbs. A lot of places, and you see them more look like, like a cake, they have a lot of breadcrumbs and fillers in them. So oh. I've been told they're puffy. Crab puffs. Crab <laughs> puffs. Yeah. Looks like dinner came. Oh. What did you just bite into? Oh, and the other side, the crab cake? Is that crab cake? Yeah, crab cake. This right here? Mm -hmm. Is it pretty good? Well, tasting Tampa Bay. Clean fork now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That is really good. Yeah, I'm more interested. Lots of crab. It's fluffy and there's a lot of crab nice in it. Rare. Light, fluffy, and a lot of crab. Mm. And uh, that looks like uh, what? Potatoes? Garlic, garlic mashed potatoes. Garlic mashed potatoes. These are garlic spinach. Mmm. Oh, that is that is good. You want to try my lamb? Yeah, right after I try the spinach. I think it's cooked just right. Oh, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. Cut a little piece of that. Lamb? Yeah, just a little piece. That? And my yeah. lamb is also perfectly cut and cooked. Oh, oh, look at that. That's pretty rare. That's just perfect. Mm. It's good lamb. Yeah. That is good lamb. So you guys had kind of like surf and turf with... Yeah, crab. Yeah, we split an entree of crab cakes and we split an entree of lamb chops. Mm. 
That's like Greek serpent turf there. That's right. It's pretty good. In fact, it's delicious. It's delicious. I would hog more of their meal, but you know, I can only push myself so far. So, thank you, ladies. And let's move on to see what else we can find here. Uh, goat cheese, spinach, and pine nut ravioli, and a pistachio cream sauce. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's one of our guest favorites. It's got some onions in there, and some fresh red pepper, some pepper, and some ground up pistachio nuts. Mmm. Uh, it smells wonderful. Heavy cream. This is a guest favorite. Heavy cream. That's the sauce. Really simple. And this goes on what? Goat cheese, spinach, and pine nut ravioli. Oh, I noticed the uh, young lad here eating. What are you eating? Um, it's something that my brother Chase in the back showed me. It's um, just chicken and the garlic mashed potatoes they serve here at the restaurant mixed together in a bowl. You know, so something quick. Something quick, something good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is your having this before you sing, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this gives you a good voice? Gives me energy, which is, yeah, pretty much the same as a good voice. You know, you need energy to have a good voice. Sure. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Well, it looks good. That looks good. It is. We, well, we won't have to try. But that's not on the menu, right? No, I don't think so. No. This is just for special. I mean, the chicken is on the menu, and the mashed potatoes are on the menu. But I don't think the two of them mixed together are on the menu. No. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Oh yeah. What's your name? Uh, Ben. Ben Heil. Ben Heil. No jokes, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben, what do you do? Uh, I'm the singer here. Entertainment. Entertainment. You do anything else during the day? You a student? Uh, yes, yeah, I go full-time to Gibbs High School. Okay, so you're still in high school? I'm in 10th grade. Oh, wow, 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 I thought you, I thought you were much older. No, no, I'm 16. Okay, 16. okay, and so you're going to sing something for us tonight? Yes, oh yeah. Once again, we'll try an ambush interview. Uh, what's that look like? <laughs> that looks like a mushroom, portobello mushroom with uh, stuff, uh, I don't know. In I, I had that before and it was very good. Oh, that's right. You were yeah, eating it. You I, was, the table, I stole you? some more of that, but I didn't steal any of this. What was this? Uh, this is um, goat cheese, spinach, pine nut ravioli. I think I saw that a little bit of that prepared. Oh, it's, uh, I haven't tasted it yet. Let me taste it. It sounded wonderful on the menu. And I didn't get a taste of this before, did My wife ate it. Mm. Is it pretty good? Do you mind if I take a little taste? Very nutty. Please I think it's the pine nuts in here she was telling me. I'm going to take a little taste of this because we are tasting Tampa Bay and that's what we do. <laughs> Oh, that is delicious. Yeah. That is delicious. Is that a marvelous, marvelous place to show? It is a marvelous place. I choked on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have goat cheese in there also. Goat it's cheese, like yeah. Spinach I'm going to taste it. Just a, a true Mediterranean kind of meal. It is. Oh, that's got a little spice to it, too, at the end. It does, a tang to it afterward, an aftertaste that's a spicy. Yeah, I was almost thinking that was like a dessert, but no, that's 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 a main course. That is delicious, absolutely delicious. Very good. Well, thank you for sharing. I'll take my little trusty fork and move someplace else. Dessert? Did somebody say dessert? Hey, I'm Chase of Bistro Atlantis in the back here. And, uh, we're just making two of the desserts right now. Uh, we got the cannoli ravioli, and we have the baklava. Both very popular desserts. And, um, basically, we uh, we make our own baklava and cannoli ravioli from scratch. We make everything from scratch almost here. But um, the baklava goes in the oven, which it just came out of, very hot. And then this one asks for no ice cream, but normally it gets a little bit of ice cream. Put a little bit of honey. Boy, that looks good. And a 
little bit of cinnamon. It's in the freezer. And then here, now these are what, raviolis? Yeah, this is cannoli ravioli. It's another dessert we have. It gets chocolate sauce and powdered sugar. And the inside of it, if you ever had a cannoli, it's the same cream. It's a real sweet cream with um, chocolate chips in it. And then uh, we just uh, wrap it in pasta and then we fry it. And then we get all the oil off and it serves hot along with the baklava. And there you have it. Two dessert dishes at Bistro Lens. Wow. That looks good. Too bad they're not for me. But well, I notice these two ladies eating over here, and they, they got done before I could actually do an ambush interview with a, with a nice clean fork. But can I ask you, what was your meal like? It was delicious. We both had the lamb shank dinner. So you guys went lamb shank? We both did, because we both love lamb. It was good? I'll fall off the bone. Delicious. Just Ooh. delicious. Yes. Any dessert for you guys? Oh, yes. I had the uh, cannoli ravioli with a chocolate sauce and baklava. And you had the baklava. Mm -hmm. I think we saw some of that uh, prepared the, in the back. Yeah, they made the coffee fresh for us, which oh. is a plus for me, because I love fresh coffee. And everything is good. The service is great. Everything is wonderful. Well, good, good. We will be back. OK, well, yes. obviously. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for the so, interview. So uh, I'm sitting You're here, and I noticed a guy getting ready to order. So uh, what, are you, what are you thinking about getting? Well, it all looks pretty good. I think something off the New World recipe menu. New World recipe, right. as opposed to Old World, right? Right. Oh, they do have an Old World side. <laughs> I, I thought you were kidding. <laughs> so, what do I know? <laughs> Trying to make jokes that they're true. <laughs> uh, the surf and turf is looking pretty good. Surf and turf, hmm. Yeah, it's uh, the tenderloin and the blue lump crab cake. That sounds like a winner. All right. Well, that sounds like you, what you're going to eat. Uh, uh, you're saving enough for dessert, right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll come back and see what he orders for dessert, too. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So we're back in the back again. Chase, what you making? We are. Right now I'm making kebabs. Simple dish, very tasty. It's basically tri-colored peppers, grape tomatoes. We have chicken, shrimp, and steak, or you can mix it up. And uh, basically it's just onion pepper, onion pepper, meat, and a tomato in the middle. As you can see, I've already started the process over here. Just finishing up now. And uh, this is one of the most common things we make in the restaurant. It's a uh, not too expensive, but very good and definitely fills you up with some hearty, healthful food. So that's what we look forward to doing here at the Bistro. Hearty, healthy food yes. and good for you. Good for you. That's the thing. You can only eat McDonald's so many times and you're going to have to come to the Bistro. <laughs> so hey, what are we cooking? We're going to cook some lamb chops. Mm. I'm going to do some crab cakes, which I'm going to plate up in a minute. And then we've got our chicken skewers with our famous marinated chicken on it. Mm. It's, it's it looks good. Of, yeah, lots of secret ingredients in there and lots of garlic, so. Okay, I'll stand back, you just do what you do. Okay, well, we would season, we'll start with seasoning the uh, lamb chops, and I like a lot of, the Greeks like a lot of lemon. So, we do some lemon pepper, and our secret blend of house seasonings, which has a lot of different stuff in it. We season both sides really well. Now, that. So there really is secret stuff in here. Yes, there is secret stuff. I think I put about 20 things in this, uh, this house seasoning that we call our house seasoning. So we season those really well. Oh, wow. And then depending on the temperature you like, how do you like the lamb chops? What do you think? I, I, I love lamb chops. <laughs> I eat anything, but that's just me. <laughs> well, then we put them on a, a nicely seasoned grill. I cover them up, boy. Let's see here. These I put, I bake off in the oven actually. They do better in the oven. Then I finish them on the grill, so. Put these in the oven. So meat on a stick we put in the oven. Yes, to get it started, and then I'll sear it on the grill at the very end. Uh -huh. So we put some, some in the oven, and we put some on the grill. And then some on the saute stove, too. Oh, okay. I'm so busy. 
lots and lots of things going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I got so it. We're multitasking all the time. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Boy, lamb chops just cooking away, and there's a fillet underneath that pie pan. I never thought about cooking a fillet underneath a pie pan, but of course, I don't really know that much about cooking. I know what I like to eat, and I bet that's going to be good. So you're pushing on those, why? So I can tell what temperature they are. Oh, okay. So there's there's a there's a method there's a methodology like if you use your hand, but for me, if it, the the flesh has got some give, that's about medium rare. Any any longer on there, it's going to be medium. It bounces back, and then well well done. You know you, you won't be able to get any any pushback. So those are those are medium rare to medium now. They cook really fast. So doesn't that burn your fingers? I've got kitchen hands. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all right. I can I can touch things. We're gonna play this up right now. Nice little shingle effect. Ooh. And then we top it with my secret grill oil. Secret grill oil? Yeah, this is definitely a Greek thing. This um, I learned this when we bought the restaurant. It's a mixture of some fresh garlic and lemon and some secret herbs and spices. The Greeks like to dress it. Like I said, they like a lot of lemon in Greece. These, we're just going to finish on the grill. So they came out of the oven and onto the grill? Yes. Just to give them a nice little little sear on the outside. But well, that looks good. Yeah, I feel like the, the, my grill is temperamental. If I leave them on the grill, they just get overdone. So I like the chicken to be moist and tender, and that's the best way to do it. Mm. That does look good. Ready? Now we're going to finish the, uh, the grilled chicken skewers, the Slovaki. Go on the plate. And like everything else I make on the grill, these get finished with my secret grill oil. With a little bit of lots of garlic extra virgin olive oil and some lemon and secret herbs and spices. Ooh, that looks good. Again, you will let me know, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> outstanding. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, somebody just got some food. Let's go see. The group that they hang out with. Well, I just was telling. Oh, excuse me. Hi. <laughs> How what, are you? What, good, good. What do you have? I have um, the bass, Mediterranean bass. It has onions, white wine, that's important, and tomatoes, green beans, and most important, garlic mashed potatoes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a little taste of the fish? Um, sure. I got a clean fork. <laughs> well, it was clean. Bet you tell that to all the girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No bit. double dipping. All right, so so this is uh, <laughs> whoop. This, no double dipping. This is sea bass. Sea bass, correct. Florida's finest. Mmm, that's light. <laughs> Take a taste of it. Oh. What'd you think, Tina? It's very very moist, and I can taste the wine. Um, it's very fresh and light, very healthy. That's what I had too. Now these I've had, now these green beans, take a taste of those green beans. Oh, look how polite she is, she cuts her green beans. <laughs> well you gotta eat in small bites. You gotta ask yourself, did she do this at home? I don't know the seasoning, but it's very different. It's very um, fresh, light, and it's not too heavy on the seasoning. It's just right. That's really good. That's good. Hey, what did you get? Chicken kebabs. Ooh, meat on a stick. Same green beans and, green and garlic mash that she got. This is horrendous. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to go see what Randy's eating over there in a minute, too. <laughs> After all these thoughts about being healthy, you don't want to come over here. <laughs> I'm going to come over there in just about two seconds. First, I'm going to. This will make every cardiologist in Dunedin very happy. <laughs> mm, that's good kebab. We watch those prepared. I'm not going to steal that much of your meal, but that looks delicious. Ah, ah, ah. You go ahead and eat. We're going to go over here and see what Randy's got. Uh, Randy, what did you get? 
I, I got a uh, stuffed pork chop. It has, uh, I think, a uh, portobello mushroom and some spinach and also a cheese inside and a side of spinach and also uh, rice. Good grief. I just want to see you pile into that a little bit. Yeah, yeah this okay. does look like kind of a Fred Flintstone portion. Yeah, it's really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, for Fred and Barney. Fred and Barney. <laughs> oh, look at the rosemary garnet. Mm. Well, that does that does look some? delicious. Yeah, just 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 a little bit, just a tiny bit. Just this half. Oh, okay, just here. Half of we'll swap yeah. forks. Again, a new fork. <laughs> well, at least for TV, it's new. Oh man, that's good. I don't know. Try some of the, uh, I'm gonna try a little bit of the stuffing. Oh, that is really good. That is really good. I have no idea what's in it, but we'll ask the chef later. But that is really good. How come the things that are bad for you are always so good? I, mean, I think that's good for you. I mean, you know, it's meat and, and fresh vegetables and stuff like that. It's I gotta be good for sear, you. I have seared ahi tuna with a mango. I forget the. Ha mango or habanero? Habanero. Ma I knew it was a pepper. Habanero sauce. So it's hot and spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a little sweet, so it's hot, sweet, spicy. Hot, sweet, and spicy. No, that no, sounds pretty no, good. That no. does sound pretty good. Would you like a little taste? Oh, I couldn't. Well, just a small bit. My, my pork is... Just a is small, like, tiny bite. Oh, man. That. You get the heat. Secondary yep. heat. Not first heat. Second heat. You get the sweetness of... Yep. of the chutney that's on there, uh -huh. mango, and the ahi is great. Mm -hmm. That has to be good for you, if it's hot and sweet. I'm gonna live forever. Two it's thumbs good. up on that? Two thumbs up. Hey, this was all so good. Now I think it's time for a little dessert, don't you? <laughs> well, there's nothing that ends a, a production like Mabel's pie, and this is a peanut butter pie that was made by the chef's mother. Actually, it wasn't made by her, it's from her recipe. But, oh man. Mm. Got Reese's peanut butter cups inside this. The miniature ones. And lots of other good stuff. Quick cream too, over here. Mmm, just good. So to top off our day at the uh, Bistro Atlantis at uh, 1140 Main Street in Dunedin, the pie, and they have other desserts too. I didn't try the rice pudding, but I am going the next time. But to top off your meal, Mediterranean foods, and we looked at all the things that they had, we ate most of it, mm, delicious. This is a, a fitting end to an evening. So until next time, this is Tasting Tampa Bay, and we'll see you next time.